Hi, Mac. Happy birthday! I didn't forget. My class is gonna start in 13? Damn. Well, glad you caught me early then. Even though I'm late. I'll tell you guys why when I turn the cam on. But I was so excited. I woke up at like 3 and I saw like a screenshot of the DLC and I was like, it's out? Apparently it's been out for a week. <laughs> I just totally forgot. I was surprised to see you not on. Okay, do you want me to leak why I wasn't live on time today? It's like kind of my fault and then kind of my sister's fault. So, I usually buy games on my Nintendo account. Because, you know, my sister's very private. On her personal computer, on her phone, she doesn't save her passwords or logins. Which is good. Very good. Hi, Queen! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello! Oh, what's that sound? <laughs> if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, welcome in. Hello. If you want me to call you Stitch or Queen, just tell me. Um. So she doesn't, like, have her passwords anywhere. Which is good. It's good. But it's also really annoying because it takes her forever to do, like, anything on the computer. So, since I technically bought Eastward on my sister's account, I don't know why, I just- I don't think I had a card on my Nintendo account yet, so I just bought it on hers. I, I don't know why I bought it on her account. Maybe she bought it for me for Christmas or some shit? So because of that, I like, undownloaded the game, because I was like, I beat the game, I don't need it. So after I purchased the DLC to this morning, I try to open the game, and it says, open up in the shop, you don't have the software. And I was like, what? So I, I look at my main account, on my alt account, and neither of them have the game. So I'm like, shit. My sister probably bought it. <laughs> so, and of course, she doesn't log in on any device. I tried on my Switch, on her OLED, and she wasn't logged in. So I was like, shit. So, um, I... She's at work, <laughs> so I was like, no, she can't log in for me. <laughs> so, and like, I didn't test it until like 10 a.m. Because I was like, you know, it should be fine. The DLC should download perfectly fine. But the game wouldn't open because it was on our account. So like, I texted my sister, knowing she's at work. I'm like, she's probably not going to get back to me until she's out of work, which is like not till the evening today. So I was like, shit. Because, like, this was the one time she had a day shift. Shoutouts. Okay, I'm almost done posting the socials, then I'll turn face cam on. Guys, three to one for the fans. Face revealed. <laughs> I, I like doing the shock face every time. Okay, so... I'm like, I text her... Okay, this is me being toxic. You know how on Messenger you can see, like, the little read receipts? <laughs> So normally, if I need to contact my sister, I'll text her. But she and I have a rule to where if it's an emergency, you text or call. But if it's, like, something that's, like, not important, then use Messenger. Like, that's her and I personal rules. That way, like, if I get a Messenger notif, then I can ignore it for a little bit. But if I get a text, oh no, right? So I, I ping her on Messenger. <laughs> Mainly because, like, I just want to see if she reads the message, you know? So... Because my sister, she has a bad habit of, she'll read a message but not reply to it. Because she's the type of texter to where she'll reply from the drop down notice. Like she doesn't open the chat log. So, <laughs> I send her a text at like 10.15. I'm like, hey, can I get your login, please? I want to play game. She opens the text 30 minutes later. Bitch leaves me on red for 30 more minutes. Okay, she was at work, but still, I was like, how dare you? So, like, 
<laughs> me being toxic. Because it's not often she leaves me on red. I send her like a single question mark 30 minutes later and then she texts me the password. And then we're good. I'm in. <laughs> what a clown? Yeah. But it's fine. I knew she was working, so I can't like be too like. I can't be too mean. But yeah, so that's why I was late. So I literally didn't get her password. No, she left me on red for an hour. I thought it was only 30 minutes. I'm looking at the clock. It's 1 p.m. now. She left me on red for an hour. Maybe she had to wait till a break. But like her workplace is chill. Like she can listen to music. She can do whatever she wants as long as she gets her job done. So. Anyway, that was why I was late. <laughs> I was like ready to stream. I woke up at 5, I edited all morning, and I was like, I can't wait till 11 so I can play Eastward DLC, but no. I couldn't. But now I can, guys. It's 12.53. Welcome in Stitch. Welcome in back to the starting soon screen. Thank you guys for chatting. You know what? I had a legit excuse. For once. Okay. Okay, I'm ready now. Today we're gonna be looking back on one of my favorite games of all time, Eastward. I played this game offline on myself, I played it for stream all the way through, and now the DLC is finally out. I remember seeing the little preview during the direct in, I think it was Fall 23, and then the devs cucked us all winter long, but it finally released last week on New Year's. It is currently February 7th, I just totally forgot that this came out. The DLC was only $5. It's on sale right now. I think normally it's $5.99, but when I bought it, it was 5 bucks. So not too bad. Allegedly, the DLC has 15 to 20 hours worth of content. I'm seeing a little bit here and there, but it kind of looks like Stardew Valley. It's farming sim. A little bit of story. You can explore a bit, talk with characters. So I'm really excited. Okay, let's turn off the music. Because for some reason, there's, like, no music in the menu. It's just quiet. Okay. I thought the DLC was going to be in the extra menu, but that's just to go back through certain chapters and replay, I guess. But to play Oc Octopia, we're in. It's finally here! I'm excited because this looks like it's gonna be like... Not visually as interesting, but so much brighter, so much more fun. Oh, you can switch it between the DLC and the main game. Makes sense. Hello? Oh, we're in. This is a story from another world. Silently, the world came to an end as foretold in the prophecy. Surrounded in darkness, the goddess sang, dispersing the dark clouds. With delicate steps, she danced, evoking the wind and awakening hope once more. There the children of Earth made a wish. So maybe the stars had realigned, or maybe a boy had lost his toy, where the gears of fate had deviated, no one knew. Love some exposition.
<clears throat> Solomon. Finally, we made it. Welcome to Hotopia. This is Octopia? What? Don't believe me. Oh, right. It's the station, isn't it? Yeah, it's seen better days. Don't worry. The next 20 years will be a gold mine for real estate. You won't be disappointed with your investment. Right this way. Let's go check out the, I mean, town. Sam still ain't got no shoes. Look, John! It's the giant octopus! Well, wait for me! Outside the station, we have ourselves, drum roll please, Octo Avenue. It's the busiest shopping street, at least it used to be. It's deserted now, but I heard some folks have their eyes on real estate here. Ah, wait, Sam. Another octopus? ancient ruins. Legend has it that an octopus god used to live here or something. Follow the road and cross the bridge to your farm. We're in. Also, I don't know why it's so loud. Let me see how loud it is for you guys. Let me see how loud it is. Okay, let me see how loud it is one more time. Okay, it's a bit loud, but I assume it'll go down. I assume it's just super loud for the opening sequence, so we're gonna leave it as is. I'm not gonna tinker. Oh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> well, there's a timer top right. Day one, Monday. 8 a.m. You can head back. I need a break, but I'll catch up with you later. What if I don't want the farm? Can I go back on the train? Nope. Guess we're stuck here. In the middle of nowhere. Wait, where did he say to go? He said to go to the left, I think. The music already sounds so chill. Yeah, I gotta go to the left. got a hoe. Plow the field with the hoe to plant seeds. Be sure to clear the ground of rubbish first. They still have these futuristic blocks here. I mean, apparent from the opening sequence, this is an alternate universe. 
Which makes sense, and I kind of like. Ooh. Oh, wait, this bridge? I don't want to go here yet. I want to keep exploring. Ooh. Weird. Nothing here. Guess it's time to go to our new home. This backdrop is so pretty. The way it's shaded, it looks like pastels, but it's pixel. Would you look at the size of this field? Is this our new home? Hurry! Let's go in and take a look. I can't wait any longer. Humongous! There's a bed? Finally! I get a comfy bed to sleep on. Seems like you two are satisfied with the accommodations. If everything's alright, I just need a signature. Alright, then it's sent. Oh, and here's a housewarming gift. You got dying comfy. Selected seeds of Sam. Guess I'll get going now. I wish you both a happy life. seeds oh that was cute see I haven't got the bed and John gets straw Ooh, okay new HUD oh my god time passes so quickly one second is one minute dude Sam's arms are so long <laughs> You got watering can. Plants need water every day to grow. Good thing the watering can magically refills itself. Thank you. Such a cute little watering can. Sure looks strange when you hold it. <laughs> oh. Ah. About time you two showed up. It's you! A watering can genie! The name's Yu Yu. Not you. Greeny Yu Yu, that is. We just moved here. My name's Sam, and this is John. Here. To this old dumb. Guess you two hayseeds couldn't afford anything better. Is this your watering can? You mean this magic relic? Take it. It's all yours. Careful. Knock it over and water will pour out like there's no tomorrow. Now go plant crops and earn tons of money. Don't end up broke like all you, you, yeah? Let me know if you have any questions. I can give you some tips. Okay, sir. What's the bell do? 
You got cabbage. Ooh, free seeds? <laughs> the hunt? It looks like a mobile game. Okay, how do I change my tool? Oh, oh my god, I'm confused. Oh, it's directional pad on the right. Okay. Now how do I use my hoe? <laughs> it's not working. Oh, Sam plants it automatically. That's so cute. I love Sam. Probably need another tool to clear the ground. Am I out of seeds already? Oh, I have no more seeds. Oh, if you hold it and walk, you just water. That's kind of nice. Let's explore a bit. It's like a wind or heat. Water God Trophy, zero of 21. Okay, the hoe don't break no rocks. Oh, there's a scythe in there though. That's so mean. Taunting me like that. I was totally not gonna hit it with my hoe. Can we take it home? You got harvesting gloves. Equip harvesting gloves to harvest crops without damaging them. Be easy. We can probably take that chicken home whenever I have, like, a net. <laughs> Not a net, but, like, a cage? Oh, I need the gloves to clear the debris. Okay. weird but the the pop sounds sounds like when you let, let out like a little fart <laughs> I want to buy more seeds I want a whole field think we can do anything with all these sticks and weeds Decorations for the farmer's market. Ta-da! Oh, A scarecrow! From here on out, you're our mayor. I think I'll call you... <laughs> Hoffman! You better take good care of our field, Mr. Hoffman! She's so cute. Hey, bye, Meg! Enjoy the rest of your day. Happy birthday. Get yourself a treat. Or maybe a drink? <laughs> I'm gonna stream for like four hours. Probably. Because it says the DLC is 15 hours. I want to try and beat it in like three streams. We're in. This better be a shop. Oh. Um, 
Is this the toilet? Um, you got toilet paper. Maybe I wasn't too off with the fart analogy. That brings up my health? Cool. You lost toilet paper. <laughs> you know, UTI is that something you want to mess with. If we got to pee, you go. Don't hold it. Okay. Um, what now? Oh, we got a radio. You got black bread. I don't want to go to bed. Wait, is that a brick for a pillow? Sam is so mean to John. Skip to dinner time? No. I want to keep working. Even though it's 4 p.m., which is like usually my dinner time. Go home and sleep if you need some shit eye. Not very helpful, old man. I want to change my camera. It looks kind of dark. Ooh, not like that. That looks any better. I don't care. Oh, I forgot the timer's going in game. Let's ring the bell. Damn, nothing. Let's see what this is Harvest Trophy, zero of thirty five. This is a pretty decent plot of land, though. I'm gonna water my plants again. I wanna see if there's anything in town. Cause no way it's just us here. Really buy a house in an abandoned town? You know, that's honestly our fault if I did. And you can also take the blame by following the channel, because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Can we hit our daily goal? <laughs> okay, I should probably have dinner. It's 7 p.m. now. That's so pretty. You see the lights from other buildings down there. It's not just us. Ooh, it's really dark now. Let's get inside, Sam. Chef trophy, one of 154. A hundred? Oops, I didn't mean to go back out. <laughs> Skip to dinner time? Yes, sir. Well, dinner time is 8 p.m. It's dark out, John. We're gonna wait until tomorrow. Damn, nothing in my magical drawer. I guess we should just go to bed. 
Do you want to end the day? Let's go ahead. Oh. Okay. Okie dokie! Let's go check on our daikon! <laughs> Ain't no way it's already done. Yippee! We got a daikon! Let's cook it up into something tasty, John! See if we get some more seeds. Damn. Rate a new recipe as left trigger. Cuisine. Create recipe. Is this my mind's eye? Daikon soup. 30 health. The crisp taste of the humble daikon is aided by the sweat of your labor. Return home and cook. Wait, where's my gambling minigame? Oh, he moved the table. Mmm, mmm, delish. Homegrown daikon always tastes the best. It increased my max health, that's crazy. He has a son back. The robot was supposed to be the child. Ah. Beautiful sunlight. I skipped the dialogue by accident. I think I'm in love with this place. Those guys won't get us here, right? Don't worry, bro. If they do, I'll protect you. Fear not, kiddos. This ghost town isn't even on the map. No one else will be here but us. Unless. Unless? It's from Solomon. And there's a letter. Dear Mr. John and Miss Sam, I have a refund to hand over to the both of you. To be honest, there was a pricing error with the property you two bought. On behalf of the company, I'd like to apologize to the both of you. Solomon said we spent too much money. Life sure can be tough on the mountain. It's not much, but I hope it helps. I hope you two are doing all right. Can't wait to see you two again. You got a thousand salt. How salty. Man, a landlord actually being good for once? Imagine. Only in a video game. Oh, my currency is on top right as well. A thousand bucks. Great recipes. Green salad. Be sure to wash thoroughly before eating. Huh. I guess I should just occasionally check that menu then. Can 
I use this? I think that increased my max stamina. Or no. I'm gonna check out the town, see if I can buy some seeds. It sure is flat here, and it's close to the station. This place ain't half bad. The old man upstairs must be looking up for us. Hey there, are you here visiting? Danger. Daniel! You scared the poor little girl. Is she here to collect taxes? For Pete's sake, clean your lens. How could a girl this cute be a tax collector? <laughs> a woman. Sorry for the fright. I'm William of Trader Williams. These are my boys, Daniel and Daniel. Hello. Sorry for scaring you. I'm Sam. We just moved here, too. Sam, eh? Where's our matters? We should have made acquaintance with our future neighbors. Neighbors? You guys want to move here? Awesome! John! We have neighbors! But father, we don't have enough money to buy land here. Shh! Keep your vocalizer shut. I'll take care of it. You must be Sam's dad. Nope. John's just John. I see. My apologies. Oh. Let me reintroduce myself. We came to... Octopia. Right. Octopia. To set up our HQ. That's great news, right, John? We want to open up a shop here. We'll have anything you want to buy. And you can sell stuff at our shop, too. A shop? Like a general store that has whatever we need? Awesome! Need to give, need us to give you a hand? <laughs> you betcha. Um, I mean, you guys are too kind. <laughs> As you can see, our shop is still in its infancy. We need to find a warehouse and a place to live first. We got some money, but not enough supplies. But father, we have no money. Zip it. Supplies? Other than some daikon growing on our farm, there's just rocks and trees. Rocks and trees, eh? That'll do. Just put some rocks and lumber in the chest over there, and we'll do the rest. Piece of cake, right, John? Oh, I almost forgot. Take this. As the saying goes, good work requires good tools. Man, I was just going to say, how are we going to get the rocks? You got the axe. A sturdy axe that'll make easy work of trees and even stones. Okay, the tools better not break in this game. I'm going to be so mad. Okay, 10 rock, 20 wood. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, wait, what? were the seeds just on the ground? What? break these stones first. Easy. <coughs> oh, when you spam, you do attack faster. That's kind of nice. <coughs> I assume this will become William's house. He can live on our farm, stayed. You got daikon. Ooh, we can get seeds randomly too. Okay, so the way the stamina bar works 
is you don't keep the stamina indefinitely. Because my bar is shrinking. I thought it was just the color indicated like how much you use, but the bar actually just shrinks. You got a fishing rod. <gasps> yep. Use the fishing rod next to water to fish. I thought that was a scythe. That's pretty wicked. Damn, five wood. It's probably best for me to get the trees. You got cocoa. Okay, it's a bit uncomfy how John grunts every attack. You know, I like John, but not that much. Okay, 40 wood, 26 rock. I'm gonna go deliver the materials first, that way I don't destroy too much of my terrain. And I'm gonna pet this chicken every day until it becomes my friend. Because on this farm, it's just me and Sam. do it. We got enough supplies, Dad. <laughs> You're done already. Thanks for the hard work. Leave the rest to us. Let's get started, bro. Roger, roger. Ready. Then let's begin. That's cute. Trader Williams is officially open for business. Wait, don't you need permits and licenses? Who? hey, who's this fella? Solomon? Not good, not good. You here to celebrate the grand opening too? I'm toast. Toast! Something seems to be troubling him. Let's go check it out. I want seeds, though. Trader Williams sure has a bright future. Okay. Are you okay, Solomon? 20 years of award-winning real estate experience. My properties, my work, I'm done for. Is he getting canceled? Seems he's taken a turn for the worse. William, is Solomon sick? I'm afraid it's gone to his heart. His heart? You mean a heart attack? I mean, the problem is in his heart. In his heart? What can we do, William? Don't worry. I've got something that'll do just the trick. I know of a homopathic cure. There's this magic food that brings hope to those in need. Are you serious? You betcha. Such a thing really exists. You learned how to cook. 
Grilled sweet potato. Grilled sweet potato. Sounds tasty. Hold on, Solomon. We'll give you hope. Take a look around. We sell only the highest quality goods. Ooh, there's so much. Okay, buying just means whatever they have in stock. dollars I'll buy two of everything chicken feed livestock feed so we can have animals too bait upgrade the tools hey yo Buy this now. A hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> I'm going to sell two daikon. I can get a beehive. Chili is the only seed I couldn't buy today. So I assume if I order it, I can pick it up from the store in a few days or tomorrow. $110. Ooh, I want to save up to get that beehive. I like this menu. It's like really easy to understand. Thank you for your patronage. I'm gonna see if I can make a new recipe. Chocolate. Much like love. Bitter and sweet. Juice. Freshly squeezed. Simple as that. Okay, so whenever you have access to a new ingredient, you can have a new recipe. Take a look around. We only sell the highest quality goods. Oh, you can't buy fruit yet. That's kind of a bummer. I kind of want to buy chicken feed. And maybe see if I can just feed the chicken. By the way, we gotta get home and plant our seeds. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Allegedly, there's only a hundred days in game, so you have a short amount of time to actually get everything done. And I love how she plants everything automatically. So convenient. Out of seeds. <laughs> I love how you can just walk around like this. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I am running out of stamina. I should probably eat something. I bet cooked goods sell for more.
It should let me queue up multiple recipes to cook at once. If John is such a good cook, he should be able to whip shit out. Like a pro chef should. I'm gonna run back to the shop, hopefully they're still open, and see if I can sell my cooked goods. Oh, the golden hour. You thank goodness still open? The daikon soup sells for six more. I don't have any of the other ingredients, so I guess it's probably in my best interest to just cook as much food as I want, and then when I need money, just to sell it. Oh, but I really want that beehive. You can wait till tomorrow. I don't want to, like, get too out of myself. Hello, sir. Don't you think you're wasting free real estate? Why don't you build something? How about a beehive? Wait, well, I spent all my money, sir. <laughs> um. Where, where'd that chicken go? Well, I can't queue up the feed. If I run out of stand well, it would just die. I wonder if this game is just gonna be like farming sim or if there's gonna be like some combat. I wonder what the area to the left is gonna be. dwindling. I don't want to knock myself completely out. I just want to see if I regain health whenever I end the day. Skip to dinner time. Yes, sir. Oh. So for dinner time, you have to eat something that you've cooked. Interesting. Rice planted, daikon planted, carrot planted, sweet potato planted, bok choy, cabbage, tomato planted. Recipes collected 3%. Oh, so you gain a little bit of stamina when you sleep, but not that much. You gain like 30. <laughs> He's so cute. You know what else is cute? 
subscribing. Because, guys, we are an hour in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing. Oh, I should pause my game. By subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a sub available. I kind of want to just grind through this. Beating the DLC in one stream. Hashtag real. Hashtag not clickbait. <laughs> Imagine. I wonder if you can just like skip dinner and just not eat. It's probably not like a good thing to do, but why not? Ooh, they delivered to my home? Hog Amazon. That's kind of cool. Okay, well, only the daikon was ready. Let's plant those chilies. Man, I should have bought a building. Wait, why is this child here? You trespassing, little boy. Scarecrow sure is interesting. This is Hoffman. He protects our farm. I've been watching it for days. And by the look on its face, I think it can predict the weather tomorrow. Weird little child. I want to get in here. What's in here? It speeds up time! Oh no, that's not what I want right now. Oopsie. fishing yet. I'll buy some bait. Damn, I really want that beehive. Okay, so you probably spend your day planting, watering your crops, and then fishing. So fishing is probably how you make the most of your money starting out. Oh, oh, it's a mini game. That's wild. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, this is really fun. Okay, this is hard because you have to move your bobber and catch at the same time. It's not just one press and then you catch it.
Oh, snapper. Okay, left trigger is counterclockwise, right trigger is clockwise. I need to remember that. Hey, come here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, that was fun. Can I only fish once a day? No. Or maybe I can only fish my bait. Okay, that makes sense, but... You will be mine one day. Take my fish, sir. So if one bait was fifty dollars, I made one hundred twenty. That's like decent profit. I'm gonna check my recipe book to see if I unlocked anything with the fish. Oh, I was right. Steamed fish. Eat this fish without flipping it to bring good luck. But then it's gonna burn. Ew. I've burned fish before. It's it's not it. I'm not gonna sell my fish, I'll cook with them first. Because I'm convinced that cooked goods sell for more. Pause. Okay, um... I'll fix this, don't worry. Don't you worry, child. Heaven's gonna plan for you. Oh, what was that? <laughs> okay. See, heaven's got a plan for you, don't you worry, don't you worry, child. This is the only part of the song I know, and I personally hate that song. I'm in. I'm in. Steamed fish sells for eighty eight. Yo, that's pretty good. Okay, so anything that sells for more than seventy, or any food that sells for more than seventy, I'll sell. Two ninety four, really. Wait, I still have the bait. I didn't use it earlier. What the hell? Oh, I'm 
want to get that beehive though. I'll sell some wood. Give me that beehive. Yes, sir. I'm broke. I want to go fish in a game. Maybe I can only fish in an area once a day. Let me find another body of water. This right here. Oh, I just realized I was pressing A instead of Y. Hmm. There's no fish. Yeah, I was just pressing the wrong button earlier. <laughs> Well, there's my bait. Oh, the indicator's not popping up. Damn. Oh, I hit it. I'm sorry. Caught him. I have no bait? Can I use the bait one time? That was $50 down the drain. That is BS. No fish out here today. Hmm. That's kind of a bummer. Let's get to cooking. Okay, the salad sold for more than the daikon. So I'm gonna make the daikon into salad. I was trying to see if I could queue up multiple dishes, but you can only queue up one dish at a time. Which is fine. Guess I can't be efficient. We gonna be eating good tonight. Okay, Daikon gives me the most health. It also sold for less. Chocolate only sold for $30, I think. Steamed fish and salad sold for 80 So I'm probably gonna eat the soup. Four percent of the recipe is collected. I'm getting there. Mm. 
The beehive has been delivered next to the mill. Green! Ooh. Now what? Got some sweet potatoes. Now Solomon can finally feel better. Oh, I should probably keep one of every raw ingredient available. That way if somebody wants like a raw potato or something. You shall be mine. Let's try fish in the morning. Oh shit. Oh man. <laughs> Damn it. It's funny hearing the music cut out when you go fishing. Summon! Put a fork in me. I'm done for. Here you go. Here's the sweet potato. 20 years of... Solomon! Hope has arrived! Hope? Smells... <laughs> tasty. Eat up! You'll feel better. All right. Don't mind if I do. Huh. There's hope. That's one sweet, sweet potato. I can see a ray of hope. William was right. We got a gift for you. Daniel. Right this way. Father is waiting for you. Welcome to Octopia Station. Mr. Solomon has come here on my request. Please grace us as the new Station Master. Station Master, me? If Octavia has any chance to grow, we're gonna need a suitable station. More visitors mean more guests at Trader Williams. If William's thinking that far ahead, he's quite the savvy businessman. And can't forget this. What is it? How can you be a station master without the proper attire? Put it on! Put it on! Oh, you're right. The beautiful town of Octopia awaits you. Welcome to Octopia Station. Looks like you're born to be the station master. Sure feels like it. Finally, some motivation to work. Um, I mean, work even harder. <laughs> but I don't have any way to repay you. Guess I'll just have to pay you an elbow grease. <laughs> Visitors here already. 
Oh, 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 visitors. Who do you think it'll be? No ordinary visitors would come all the way out here. New neighbors? Where is everybody? I think the train left. I mean, it is only the first day. I'm sure the word hasn't got over yet. You're right. Visitors will start flocking here in no time. Our town is literally just one farm. I dropped my controller. Our town is literally one farm and then a tent for a shop. It's like Tom Nook's cranny. Can't drop my controller. <laughs> We good. Seeds can be stored longer once they've been dried out. Be sure to give them proper air or the seeds will die. Wow, you sure know a lot about seeds. Dad taught me. Actually, he's been secretly reading up on it. Something about wanting to research plants. Bro. The train is approaching the station. Passengers, please maintain a safe distance from the railway. Please wait for the train in an orderly fashion. Anyone coming? Oh, this is the door. <laughs> Damn. Are we just gonna wait here all day, just camp the entrance? Still no one. Oh, I forgot. We still need to sort the new shipment of seeds. I'm gonna head back to the shop. I'm going to go help. See you later. The train is approaching the station. Passengers, please maintain a safe distance from the railway. Please wait for the train in an orderly fashion. There's gotta be someone now. Rule of thirds. Here comes another train. I'll bet my bottom dollar there won't be anyone. How about you guys pay a visit to the store? We got a new shipment of new seeds in yesterday. What's the station doing all the way out in the boonies? Oh, <laughs> welcome to Octopia, distinguished visitor. I'm Solomon. I've got 20 years of great real estate experience. Is there anything I can help you with? Oh, someone's actually here. This isn't some kind of a scam, is it? This quaint little station just opened today. Please forgive the current state it's in. I better not regret this. Plus one. Hey there. I'm just looking for some fresh air out in the country. Ain't this hospitality a bit much? Give him some room, Sam. City folk are all the same. If they're quiet, they don't want to talk. Oh. What do you mean? All the same. Why are you putting all of us why are you putting all of us in the same bucket? Huh, pal? Uh sorry, sir. That's not what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Forget it. If you wanna apologize, make this for me. Got it? Ooh, shrimp dumpling. Ooh. Carrot, shrimp, shrimp. And flour. Shrimp dumplings? You want some food? If you can make this, 
I'm running out for this little town of yours. Don't underestimate me. You got it? I got some connections in the city. An ad? Oh, wonderful! Shrimp dumplings? I swear on my 20 years of sales experience, you'll get the best tasting shrimp dumplings you've ever had. John is the best chef around. Ain't that right, John? The name's Lee. When I come back next week, you better not let me down. Ooh. How am I gonna get shrimp? Ooh, wait, can I- I can't fish here. Hmm. Yeah, nothing here either. Maybe I can buy shrimp. We not may we may not be the cheapest, but it's not like you have any other choice. Okay, buckle. The okay, wheat I'm gonna need. Sweet potatoes, seventy-seven dollars. Buying all his wheat. Oh, I'm I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. <laughs> Damn, carrots are $60. Okay, sweet potatoes sold for a good penny. I gotta figure out how to get shrimp. It's gotta be from fishing. But I don't have any, like, ocean water, I don't think. Let's try fishing again. Ooh. My mayor. The little notification doesn't come up anymore. little sneak attack. Dang it! Okay, this fishing is getting annoying. This is so dumb.
God, please. Oh, I got I'll plant my seeds. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Dude, I don't know how this works. Come here. Turn around. Just turn around. <laughs> Come here. God damn it. One more time. Come on. Just come here. Come here. <laughs> I don't want to keep playing tag all night. I need one fish. One more. Now I'm going to stay completely still. Dinner time. No. Not even one fish. Wait, did I sell all my food? <laughs> um. 
Oh, we have chocolate. Thank goodness. You saved. <laughs> I almost made a child star. Uh-oh. So I got an email from my doctor. <gasps> Let's continue on. Robo Daniel. The blocks are gone. I moved that R and R for you. I heard father say there was a lot of good stuff over there. Let's go take a look, John. Very nice. to introduce you to the friend of mine. Ta-da! Say hello to Mr. Mill. Just look at that rock-hard body and stern face of his. You must be lonely, John. We eat tea, soybeans, rice. He can do it all. Just give him a spin when you have some materials. You'll need to mill materials to cook more recipes. Awesome! I knew you two would get along smashingly. Milling sure ain't easy. I can lend a hand if you want. For a prize. Grinding sure is tough work. Just 50 coins. And I'll help you grind for a day. I'm good, sir. Your pocket's as empty as mine. Just 50 coins for my services. Oh! You mill yam. Okay. What about the honeycombs, though? Hmm, peace sign too? Hmm. Well, the trees do grow back. Nice. I should probably spend one day getting the wooden rocks, then. Ooh. I can fish here. So close. Whackfish. Oh, I. Come here. I just have to hit the fish. I thought I had to like line it up perfectly, but once your bobber hits it, you just have to press A. You don't gotta hold, you just gotta hit it. Okay, fishing is easier now that I kinda get it. Oh! <laughs> I 
I think when you try to change directions with the bobber, that's when it DQs. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, so you have to wait for the fish to touch the bobber, and then you can start hitting it. Okay, you gotta chase it a little bit. Keep exploring. You got a lotus root. Mister, are you here visiting? Visiting? I guess you could say that. Do you live in this town? You betcha. Our home is next to the farm over there. Oh, I see. Here, take this. I just recently found out what I'm about to tell you. My forefathers designed this place. Not your town, of course. I mean, Octo Park. Octo Park? You mean the theme park here? Sure doesn't look like it, does it? I wouldn't have believed in myself if I hadn't checked the map. Wait. You... You aren't trying to take back Octo Park, are you? You won't have any place to live. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't have that kind of authority. This town belongs to you now. Phew. I thought we were going to be homeless again. I was cleaning out my library last week, and I found these Octo Park design plans. Really? John, look! There's our station and a huge octopus! What's written on top? Don't worry if you can't read it. It's an ancient language. What's it mean? It means God. God? Too bad it seems I'll have to go back empty-handed. By the way, I found this along with the blueprint. I bet it has something to do with that God. You got the souvenir badge. Hey, sir. <coughs> seems like something ominous is going on here. Seems like it's gotta be something. You got a snail. Ooh, Escar, go! What do we do? Give an offering? Oh, lost souvenir badge. Gasoline? It's a watering can. Watering can upgraded. Turns out this is the statue. Looks like we saw the mystery. Seems like that god is reacting to the badge. 
Maybe that'll work out well with other things as well. I almost forgot. There's also another legend. God doesn't want people to see his visage. I'm afraid you can only see him as a foggy day. Alright. I'll leave the rest to you two. The mysteries of the world await you. Okay, sir. Man, I got a mega watering can now. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can take those frogs home. This is where I was earlier. Oh. Okay. Um... Now we're getting weird. Yeah. Can't do nothing here. Huh. Okay. We just need to have an electrician move to town. Then we can handle this. Let's do a bit of fishing. Dumplings. Once I mill some wheat. So when the fish swims away, you have to move your reel only in one direction. It can't change direction. I got it now. Wait, I need to go back. I need to water my plants. I should water my plants right at the start of the day. That way I don't forget like this. Like this. Not like this. They're gonna die, Joan. Now we're good. Back to fishing. Easy. Help. Interesting. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm gonna go to the shop, hopefully in time, just to see how much the fish individually sell for. If they don't sell for 80, then I'll just cook. Bass sells for 40, kelp 35, 
Shrimp 50, Prussian 60. Okay, either way it's best to just cook them. Then I need flour. Man, I wish I could- ooh. Finally, Barbara upgrades. I think I want the power bobber. An eel bobber that significantly reduces fish endurance if the timing is right. Or a bobber that quickly moves with a reduced impact on fish endurance. I'd rather reduce the fish endurance, honestly. Yeah, I got nothing cooked. Yeah, no new produce. Them again. Yeah, I'll wait till tomorrow to sell. I'm hungry, John. What's for dinner? I'm sorry, sweetie. John just got a little bit distracted. I'm gonna save your father, but I'm not your father. <laughs> Oopsie. I forgot to check my recipe book. Oh, it still shows up. Okay, good, good, good. I thought once I ate it, it just disappeared, but I'm good. Escargot, a delicious alternative, alternative to fast food. I want to try escargot again. It's been years. Ooh, heroic meal. Flavors collide to fight for glory in this delicious dish. So sometimes you need multiple ingredients to make a recipe. Okay, so just an even greater indicator that I need to have one of everything in my inventory at any given time. Sixty-eight health? Wow. So I need to make sure I have one of every crop or fish in my inventory. Oh, that's so much. Five more days until Lee City was going to arrive. He also, I need to use the restroom. <laughs> so, I'm gonna run the ad now, and I'll be right back. Like I said, don't hold your pee. I'll be right back. Gotta mute the mic.
Yo, I'm back. I also got a package in the mail. I think it was some of the stuff I bought for Valentine's. Oh. Someone is using the bathroom upstairs, so I had to go downstairs. I'm out of breath. Hi, Mac. I love stairs. I want to get one of those... You know how they have the lifts for, like, elderly and disabled people that, like, take you up the stairs, like, Duh. I want one of those. That's the dream. Whew. Okay, I'm back in. Take your time, thank you. Also, I've been trying to bike, like, 15, 20 minutes every night now. Like, my legs, very nice, but also very tired. My calves are looking crazy. Like when I flex, you guys will never see it. But holy, okay, I'm in. Ooh, it's raining. Very nice. Us farmers love the rain. And cabbage and bok choy rice as well so that took four days to grow that's a lot i should probably grow the seeds vertically because i hate having the tall ones block my view my view excuse me it's not the same but i'm asthmatic so i get how it can be difficult yeah it's totally valid man like i don't if i ever get a house i don't want any steps at all i'd rather have like a 2000 square foot house that's just like all flat. I don't want a two story. I do, granted, I feel a lot more safe and secure because we live in a duplex. Like, I feel a lot more secure having two stories. But then, just like health and safety, it's probably better for me to like stay at a place that has no stairs. Okay, what, what should I do first? Um, uh. By the way, we need wheat. It's gonna take days to grow. I wish I could just buy wheat. No sé qué puedo hacer. I don't know what to do. Braised bok choy. This simple yet challenging dish is a litmus test of a true chef. My mom used to make this. I don't like it. I don't like anything green. Shredded cabbage. Who needs a knife when your hands will do the trick? Rice. A necessity for every meal in parts of the world. I love rice. It's so good. Sushi! Deceptively simple, yet takes years to master. There's this one rinky-dink teriyaki place. Local, so I obviously can't name it. But apparently, one of, like, one of my favorite sushi places locally, one of the chefs left, and then he opened a teriyaki place. So the teriyaki at this teriyaki place is mid. But their sushi, dude, it's so good. And it's, like, $2 cheaper than ever the sushi place in town. Because their actual fried sushis, the battery was really thin. Not too heavy, super light. And then for their regular sushi, they had like crispy panko and then sesame seeds rolled around the rice. So good. Wait, I'm actually, I might get some later. <laughs> it's, it's been like two weeks since I'm gone, but it's so good. Wait, I might actually get some later. <laughs> rice ball, a delicious ball of rice that warms up in your hand. Very nice. Oh wait, I can mill rice. Let's try that now. Wait, I can't even mill rice. What? He told me I could. Smash the button. Yo, 
you got vermicelli. Cool. I can't even mill rice. What? He said I could. Hmm. I should probably plant seeds on days and it rains. That way I can save a bit of time. Wait, I didn't craft. I don't think I crafted anything. I'm gonna buy some seeds now. And then come back tomorrow. Is that too farming sin? I'm honestly liking this a lot. I cannot wait till we get more characters. Because I think my favorite part of any sim game is just talking to the, the city folk. If I were to make a farming sim, what mechanic would I do? I like how in Stardew Valley you can date people. No, you, you know what I would do? I would do farming sim slash dating sim and then have a bejeweled blitz function. That way it could be like Poonipaw. And instead of matching gems, you match vegetables and fruit. days it takes the little plant icon is how many days it takes to grow okay i got it okay i'm just gonna buy two daikon that way i can make that new recipe but I don't really need to be focusing on produce right now, I don't think. Because once I grow it once, then I unlock the recipe, and then that's fine and chill. And I think I need to focus on exploring. Oh, I just wanted to see if Solomon was up here. You love to riz? Yeah, because I'm lonely. <laughs> think like the most fun part about dating sim games is like seeing how your dialogue affects what they say because i hyper analyze my interactions and i think it's really funny whenever i say something bad in game it like affects the characters i think it's really funny I'm gonna get to fishing. Those flies just floating. Thought the ghosts were following me again. <laughs> I went the wrong way. You gotta follow it.
I hate fishing. It's the only way to make money in this town. I went the wrong way. They're all gone! Shit. This is so pretty. I know. That's what, like, I said this at the start, but, like, I'm most excited to see, like, the game style with brighter color palettes. Because the initial eastward, there's no more fish! The initial eastward is, like, very muted and dull, because it's supposed to be underground. And the above sequences were so pretty. I scared all the goddamn fish away. I hate my life. Why'd I move out to the middle of nowhere? In serio, is there really gonna be no more fish? I need a faster bobber. Because this is ridiculous. I fucked up! If I cook this, I will die. Finally, something new. One fish. I'll take one fish. One is better than none. It's probably not even worth it for me to buy bait because I'm not proficient enough at fishing yet. No, come on. Okay, we're gonna chop wood until we fall asleep. Hey, Sam. Cause these trees are getting in my way and they're pissing me off. You don't wanna see John angry. All I do is I start cooking aggressively. And let me tell you, oil spills hurt a lot. time. God damn it, Sam. Can't you just go hungry for a night? <laughs> oh. 
I should cook something. I don't want to use... I'll make a rice ball. Oh, wait. Rice gives me 42 health. Holy. That's a decent amount of sandwich. I should load up on rice. I didn't check my recipe book before I went to sleep, damn it. Four more days until Lee arrives. A full failed. Bogu sashimi. It's hard to believe such a delicious dish could be so dangerous. Plus 52 health. Wow. You see honeybees. You got one honey. Man, so much stuff is growing today. Tomatoes? Holy moly! Okay, tomatoes are probably the best investment then. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna. Uh, let's cook some stuff. Candied lotus. Strands of sugary cannery flakes of chrysanthemum with each bite. I thought you couldn't eat chrysanthemum. You know, I read that book. It was about a girl who got bullied. Well, I don't have, like, much of anything, so, um, let's cook one rice. Chef trophy. Eight of... Okay, so you get a trophy whenever you actually cook the meal, not when you unlock the recipe. Hmm. Harvest trophy, 9 out of 35. So I guess that's like how many like unique crops you've grown. I just need to keep track of what I've cooked or haven't cooked. It's these bozos again. What kind of place is this? Why are we here? Didn't you say so yesterday? I can't date this Amelis city. I want to go where there's less people. Don't waste your breath, bro. Tell him the pops ain't gonna jog his memory. What you call me? Don't you don't think you can fool me? I stood for you two in diapers. Oh, <laughs> diapers, huh? Where'd they? I, I put them right here. It's these bozos. Dumb and dumb. Welcome to Octopia. Are you here visiting? 
Uh, no. Our Pops is sick. He doesn't look sick. Ha! <laughs> Hear that? Robots get sick, too, you know. Gotta be that jar of kimchi that Granny D sent over last week from the snack shack. Pops kneeled over right after he ate it. He's been acting funny ever since he woke up. Baloney! I don't remember that happening at all. That's one of the symptoms. Guess Pops done lost his memory. In other words, you only remember what happened yesterday. Or today. John, go ask William. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Yep. Sounds like memory loss. Any way to fix him? I heard there's this drink you could try. I knew you'd have an answer. That's it. Learn to cook tea. I'm not sure I'm not sure it'll have any effect on a robot though. Okie dokie. We'll handle it from here. Man, everybody wants me to cook them shit. I better be able to buy tea. Yes, I can. A hundred dollars! Shit. Rice fill sells for 88. How much is the crop? 40? Okay, that's a pretty good investment. save it though I might need it for stamina but I have no money pufferfish 120 yo Okay, seeds cost the same no matter if you get it shipped or if you buy it in person. Buy two more rice. Man, I'm so- I need to get better at fishing. I need to. I just wish time would pass lower. There's not enough time in the day. Hey Rocket, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Back to fishing. Hi, Bobo. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hey, watch this. Come on. Damn it! <coughs> the pressure got to me. Okay, watch this. I went the wrong way. God damn it. Is the game like Animal Crossing? More like Stardew Valley. There's gonna be no more fish! God damn it! But I'm liking this so far. I would like to say if this were like a standalone farming sim game, there wouldn't be enough to it. 
But since it looks like Eastward and I love Eastward, I like the DLC. For granted, this much for like five bucks is insane. Five dollars for a whole DLC? Holy moly. There's no more fish. Ain't no way I scared them away already. Ooh, escargo. No way the fish are all gone already. I went the wrong way again. God, please. Everyone's gonna be so proud of me. There's no more. Ooh, Escar, go! So many snails today. Love that. Hilarious. It's a good troll. Yes, sir. fish here. I didn't mean to yell, sorry.
Oh wait, John's gonna die. <laughs> Such low stamina. I'm sorry, John. Yeah, I think I've done all that I could today. Still need flour. I can make four escargot. I think I'll make three. And then sell at the market tomorrow. I'm surprised the tomato didn't give me a new recipe. I'll make a bunch of salads. Because salad sells for 80 bucks. That'll be a decent bag of cheddar. Yeah, I think we're ready for bed now. You know what else is good? Following the channel, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, let's continue on. So officially, a week into game, <laughs> a week into game officially, allegedly there's about 100 or 110 days in game. Three more days. I'm sure he's gonna love our shrimp dumplings. Finally, the wheat's done. It's so cute how Sam is helping. Two raw flour. Yes, sir. Red rice noodle roll. Don't worry, the red color is a natural part of our fermentation process. Cakes. Choose your favorite topping. The sky is the limit. Bad 
baguette. Due to its weight and toughness, it's been used as a weapon in numerous films. Okay. <laughs> um. Oatmeal has gradually become renowned as a low-calorie health food. Naan. Crispy right out the oven and keeps fresh for a long period of time. Ooh, so much new food. Wow. Oh, I can make the dumplings now. Damn, he's leveled up. I'm cooking up a storm today. Okay, I've made one of most everything for now. I'm gonna go to the shop, see if I can sell. If something sells for more than 60 food-wise, then I'll sell it. Otherwise, then I'll just save it for, like, health. Actually, 143? 66 for the bread, 66 for the baguette, for the naan. Oatmeal, 35? Bruh. Shrimp dumpling, 220? Salad, 88. Escargot, only $33? No way. Snail only sells for 30. You're making three dollar profit. You might as well just eat it. Yeah, I guess anything around 60 is what I should sell. Yeah, I want to see how much wheat costs. 25. Yeah, that's almost three times profit. It's not too bad. Bok choy 143. I want to see how much the actual seed costs. No way it costs 143. Well, it costs 90, that's why. A little less than double profit, but 143 is a lot. Okay, wheat is gonna be our best seller. Let's buy all the wheat he has.
few bok choy. Potatoes have a good yield, but I don't have any recipes besides salad. I'll buy one tomato. recipes with chili. Okay, now we good. this child doing here bees are always busy buzzing but they sure have it rough okay stop trespassing what is nice is if I misclick the hoe I won't destroy the seed I just planted that is very nice Thank you, game. I know I said I wanted to try and do vertical rows, but I find it easier to water horizontally. Like, I can hit two at once. Let's get to fishing. Same old, same old. Come on. Oh, I missed! Easy, a shrimp? In these waters? What's going on? This ain't right. Okay. <laughs> Another stream. Okay, so however many fish spawn whenever you cast your rod initially is how many fish will spawn in that specific spot. Okay, it's only 2 p.m., not doing too bad. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Save? Hi Kim, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. That was too fast. I scared him.
Wrong way. I still got it, though. We eating good tonight, boys! Another one! Dude, I'm getting so good now! It's because the direction the barber goes kept tripping me up. Was salmon the best fish I've ever eaten? Man, we eating good tonight. Oops, sorry, sorry. It's okay. I'm not gonna catch you and eat you. Surely not. No more fishing for today. The lake's all dried out. Okay, my favorite part has got to be discovering recipes. I love it. Som Tom. Songs have been written about this Thai cuisine. Wait, was that reconsider? Sashimi. Skill with a knife and the quality of the ingredients are key to this dish. Maybe just getting better combos? Lava cake. Spongy cake with a gooey center, overflowing with bliss. I've seen frozen lava cakes at the shop, and I really want to try it. But then what if it's bad? But then it's like just minus $5. I might as well just try it. Kongi. Rich flavor requires time. 
I've been craving like a homemade chicken noodle soup. Like that genuinely sounds so good. Veggie rice, a good way to convince children to eat more vegetables. Can vouch, it does work. Imoyakan, sweet potato paste serves as the Eastern equivalent of tea and crumpets. Hey, good job, John. Lots of good shit today. I mean, cooking. John, it's dinner time. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be eating snails every day, Sam. Hope you like it. Because they're the least profitable, surprisingly. Hi, Mint. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Also, Mint, I forgot to write your name in the journal yesterday. I'll do it today, I promise. Fingers are not crossed. I forgot. It's because I had to move my panels around in OBS in my mod view because my mod view kept glitching, so I, I accidentally hid my subscriber list. <laughs> Oopsie. It's okay, she scammed me too. No, I didn't. I wrote your name, Kim. I did. I was going to say look back at the VOD, but you can't because it was a sub-only stream. I didn't. Have another scam or lie. <laughs> I'll try to make the red rice noodle roll. I think you never turned your cam back on. No, I wrote it. I wrote it. You just didn't see it. You know what, Kim? I'll show it on screen at the very end. So you know what? Watch till the end to see your name. Keep the tab open. Oh, I didn't catch a lot of fish. I got a good handful of shrimp and no fish today. Or not a lot of fish, rather. How was my day? It was chill. It was chill until my sister... I told this debacle earlier, but the reason why I started to stream late, like I was almost two hours late, is because I bought Eastward on my sister's Nintendo account. So since I had undownloaded the game, the only way for me to re-download it was to log into her account, but I didn't have her login because she was at work, so I had to wait for her to answer my text. And then she left me on red for an hour because she's a hardworking lady and didn't want to be on her phone. But she left me on red for an hour. <laughs> It didn't send me the password. But you know what? I'm here. Otherwise, it was chill. Okay, I want to get more honey. I want to get 5 million beehives. Ain't no way you were up at 5. I. It's because I go to bed at 8 like a boomer now. I'll, I'll go on my elliptical at 7, I'll be pooped, exhausted, I fall asleep so quickly. But the only bad thing about exercising right before bed is that it gives me like really vivid dreams, which is like better than nightmares, because nightmares suck. So it's better than like taking melatonin. But... What was I gonna say? So like, I'll go to bed at 8. I'll like knock out by 8.30. But then since... I'm getting like a full eight hours. I'll wake up at four or five now. And then I'm just like, oh, I might as well get to work. So then I edit for a few hours. 
what is good is that I'm like catching up on YouTube shit. So guys, sub to the YouTube. This game looks so cute. Mint, if you haven't already, play the original Eastward. I have a full playthrough up on the VOD channel. It's going to be edited for summertime. But if you haven't already, play the actual game. Because this is the DLC. The main story, the main game has a lot more story elements to it. It's more combat based. This is more resource management. So it's kind of, I really like how they took a different direction with the DLC. Because it's kind of like, if you don't like the mechanic of one part of the game, then you'll probably like the other. Because I think right now on the Switch the, and Steam, they're selling the bundle. Where it's like slightly discounted. I'll cook one more naan. But you can like play the game separately. Because the games are in like similar style, but different universes. So that's why like it kind of makes sense for them to have different game mechanics. But the DLC doesn't have a lot of story to it as much as the main. Man, oatmeal only gives 18 hearts. Oatmeal is such a scam. It's also gross. Ooh, shredded cabbage 60? Wow. 82? I'll do cabbage. How can cabbage give you this much energy? That's crazy. Eleven percent of the recipes collected. That's pretty good. Or I don't have any indicator of what's good or not, but I think pretty good for three hours of gameplay. Still two more days until Lee arrives. Don't worry, we'll be ready for him. Okay, we got rice and daikon. Diagonality. <laughs> I've been replaying all the marker maps, and I'm always like, they could have put Toad's Factory here. In the DLC instead of this one. Dude, I'll be screaming that from the rooftops for like forever. Nintendo really dropped the ball. sell the oatmeal it's not worth it yeah i agree singapore and then what's the one with the tulips those are the only good tour maps the other one's mid got sweet potatoes. Buy some of those. One bok choy. One cabbage. Yep, that's all I can afford. Thank you. 
There's got to be some lore with this tree. You know what I think? I think this is the tree. The final tree in the Lorax movie. But instead of saving it, they chopped it down. And then that caused the apocalypse. <laughs> instead of Moonview Highway, it should have been Toad's Factory. No, I like the Moonview Highway. I like that one. Don't say that. You genuinely think we're going to get more Mario Kart DLC? I don't think so. I think they tapped out. They gave us DLC, that way it'll tide us over for like two more years. Or maybe even five years till we get the new console. I can only hope. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got blessed with getting like an initial DLC. That had as many maps as it did. Even if, like, half of them were, like, shitty tour ports, still better than nothing. Also, guys, make sure you fill up the Valentine's Day quiz. Another shrimp, let's go. It's pinned at the top of chat, or you can click the link. Pod watchers. Fill out the quiz. It will be used for a stream later this week. I mean, next, early next week. Because Valentine's streams are coming up soon. I think if they make Mario Kart 9, it'll have every single map ever existed. I don't think they would actually do that, though. It's what the people want. But then that would become the penultimate Mario Kart game. Then it's kind of like... Oh, shit. I went the wrong way. It's kind of like, what are they going to do next? They did what Smash... Wait, I think you've said this before, Mint. <laughs> Wait. I'm having deja vu. I probably have. Yeah, I think you have. <laughs> okay, in the Smash, I know they released new characters gradually, but did they release new stages? I don't think so. I'm not a Smasher, so I wouldn't know. The only Smashing I do is your mother. Oh shit! I went the wrong way. The bit was not worth it. We've hit the jackpot, boys. I think the game audio is delayed? Uh oh. Oh no. Let's check. It is. Shoot. Okay, let's fix this. Thank you, Mint. Why didn't y'all say something sooner? Vod Watchers in shambles. 
I got you, thank you. Mint is the only real fan in chat. I'm sorry. You, thank you. Mint is the only real fan. I'll say it. Sorry, there was an echo. Okay, should be good now. Whew. Back to it. One more, and then I'll have a perfect run. I almost messed up. I'm cracked. Wait, why am I going so slow? Jeez. If I get all five pufferfish, that'd go crazy. That was crazy. You know what else is crazy? Subscribing. Because, guys, we are three hours into stream. I almost forgot. I need to run an ad. So, if you want to avoid that ad, all you got to do is subscribe. For $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a sub. Do it. Also, you may have noticed. I downloaded the demo for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Is it any good? Should I spend $60 and play it? I don't know. I might do the demo on stream for like a sub only. Because it says it's about like an hour, hour and a half of gameplay in the demo. I don't know if I want to buy the full game. I've never played it. I, mean, I saw it and I kind of wanted to get it. But my sister had no interest. But she also doesn't like Pokemon as much. Yeah, that's, that's why like, I want to do it for a sub only. Because I don't want any Pokemon heads to watch and they get mad at me. I've heard good things. Me too. At least the demo was free. I think every single game should have a free demo. Because everyone's a brokey. And I genuinely think if you give people a little tease, a little smidgen, or you give them a coupon, they're more likely to actually buy the product in full. Oh shit. <laughs> I got him. I forgot he changed directions. He's on Google Maps making me take five million turns. Oh no! <laughs> I need to calm down. I'm scaring the fish away.
I did that literally perfectly. What is wrong with these fish nowadays? All these zoomer fish? Not wanting to get cut? No, they're all gone now. No. It's getting late, John. Let's go home. Let's take out one perfect fish. I'll take one. Spicy fish, a delicious dish even if you can't take the heat. We need a carp specifically for this recipe. Mm. I haven't ate dinner yet, and this food is making me so hungry. Me too. It's about my lunch time. But I had, like, a little snack. <laughs> I had my breakfast, and then I had French... I made myself, like... So, it's not on the plate. I made myself some French fries. Like, I baked them in the oven. I put bacon bits, sauce, and cheese. And that was like my little, my little lunch, I guess. Because I was so upset at my sister for stalling for so long. I was like, I'm mad, so I'm going to eat. And then I ate french fries. They're really good. Okay, these red rice noodle rolls made a good penny. one more I'll try to make sushi I don't think I've made it yet okay so the red dot icon indicates that you haven't cooked it yet that is very good I'm gonna save the rest of my flour. I think what I'm gonna do... I don't think there's like a max stanima you can have. So I'm just gonna eat whatever I want to eat. So like anything that gives me 50 or more hearts, I'll just eat. Besides the red rice noodle roll and besides the sashimi. Because I assume these two will sell for a lot in the shop. We're going to be eating cabbage, Sam. Man, she ate quickly that time. Thirteen percent done. Not too shabby. Tomorrow's the day. So we got some more honey. seed it's not every week that you get a seed I guess maybe it's just random days 
Maybe it's the day after the kid shows up at the campsite. That little rascal was loitering yesterday. Okay, I was going to eat stuff. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, 40 is good, but I want to only eat things that are 50 or more. Because I, I think I only use like 50 stamina a day anyway. Right now I need to focus on getting that bag. 88 for spicy fish. Okay, that was a waste then. Not making that anymore. Sashimi 132. That's pretty damn good. Sushi 132. That's decent profit, but it's probably just more effective to make the grilled fish. Yeah, I'll, I'll just keep eating the escargot for Stanima. <laughs> Come on. I'll finally get a chicken coop. I'll try it. on getting the upgrades or for the next few days because I don't necessarily need crops for now focus on having my fields full at any given time. Oh wait, it waters two squares at once now. Yo! Man, this watering can is crazy. Back to fishing. How am I doing? I'm doing good. It's been a chill day. It's a bit murky out. I can't tell if it's smoke or fog. Easy. Oh, it's kelp. I might be going to a play this weekend. I'm really excited. I still don't know what day I'm going. But what's nice is that it's a local play. So... It's not like they're gonna be sold out. <laughs> oh shit! Kelp again? What play? I don't wanna say. I don't wanna leak. I'm too scared. 
But it's like a local playhouse. They don't do Broadway or anything. Like, the only place you're gonna be seeing Broadway plays anyway would be, like, Seattle. And ain't no way I'm going to Seattle. I wish every single Broadway play was filmed. Like, after seeing Hamilton, like, the edit of that, holy moly. Can't they just do that with every single play? I think I watched part of the Shrek musical, like the version they put online, and that was shot pretty nicely as well. Like, I would gladly buy a DVD copy of a play. Why is there no fish? My face ain't that ugly. <laughs> Come on! You can't see it, but I have kind eyes under this visor. Was never really big into plays because the one I went to was because of school field trips. I'm trying to think. I think the only plays I've seen in person were like the high school plays. Which are always gonna be bad. <laughs> like, I haven't seen an actual. Like, oh my god! Professional performance! Oh, I got it! But, like, as I've grown older. Guys, I'm 24. <laughs> I just want to like experience more within my local community. Like I want to feel like I'm a part of things. Like I've been going to craft fairs, farmers markets. I went the wrong way. Wait, I'm good. And I just want to appreciate the things that people do. Got him. My only fear, though, is that I know I'm gonna cry. Shit! Wrong way. <laughs> no! Man, this gotta be debating. Not too bad. My friends usually ruin it. That's why you gotta go to things by yourself sometimes. That's- okay, no snitches. That's kind of why I don't like going out to eat with my sister. Because, like, it's, it's not that she's, like, annoying. It's just she's really picky. And she doesn't like more crowded spaces, which is valid. I can respect that, but I've come to enjoy eating out of places by myself. Because then I get to fully experience it on my own without, like, other people's input. And I was gonna go see the Heron movie, because my sister and I were gonna watch it, like, last weekend, but then she had to work. Big L. 
But they're not showing it at my local theater anymore, so I'm sad. I have to wait till it's streamed. I need to get out of the mindset where I need to be out with people. That'll come with time. Because my opinion is, like, the older you get, the less of a shit you give. You know, everybody else is just in their own little world. They don't really have the time or energy to really truly think about you. Unless you're, do unless you're being rude. Then that'll, like, stick with them. Otherwise, like, nobody really cares. And that took me, like... Dude, I'm 24. That probably took, like... Two or three years to, like, fully sink in. I'm never rude, I'm a pushover. Same. As long as you don't let other people be like really mean to you or really rude to you, then I think it's fine. Because like, being a pushover is also like being like hyper polite or overly giving. So it's not like it's bad. It's just you can't let yourself be like, violated or have your feelings hurt all the time. Wait, do I lose that wood? Come on, really? Two sashimi? Oh, I'm sorry, Mint. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I can't drive, so... You know, I be exploring to my friends all the time, but... Don't buy shit for them. Take turns! Like, definitely stick up for yourself if you feel comfortable for it, in order to do so. Let's make pancakes. Oh, damn it. I didn't mean to X out. I only got two flour left. I should probably hold on to it. Oh, I have a lot of fish. Oh, I should probably keep one of fish available at any time. Shit. She. Oh, wait. I didn't t tell you guys this earlier. But I called in to cancel my disability benefits. It'll take like up to a month to process. So, you know, I can't be getting the bag just yet. But hopefully in March, I'll be able to make money for myself again. So that can mean I can donate plasma by donating and then get compensated for the donation. I can do freelance. I can do commission. I can do part-time work if I need to. So, yeah. I'll, I'll go more into detail whenever it's, like, officially processed. Because you can't call and be like, yo, I don't want no more money. You have to, like, submit paperwork. Which makes sense because if, it, if you were able to cancel over the phone, then, like, anybody who did have your information could cancel on your behalf, which is illegal. But someone could still fuck with you. So, like, I have to mail in paperwork. But. I'll wait for the tomatoes. Only got a couple good weeks till March? Yeah. Because, like, I talked, I talked about this a little bit the other day. Oh, we're eating escargot. But my sister's work hours are getting cut. Potentially in the upcoming weeks. 
Like, she's being scheduled for four, but they could have her stay a full day. And then also, like, if there were an emergency, because whether you're on Social Security, SSDI, or just regular Social Security, and the current benefits I'm on, which is, like, transitional, like, you get these benefits in Washington State before you get approved for SSI. You can only have $2,000 in your savings account. I'll, I'll wait to read that. And you cannot have more than 2000 in your checking account. So, like, all your total assets, including investments, um, property and vehicles are different because it's not like you can sell those right now. But that still counts as assets. Just a different type. So, you can't have more than $2,000 in accessible money or cash as well. Like, you can't stuff 5 candy to your mattress. You have to report that. So I was talking to my sister, I was like, well, if you lose your job or if you get like hurt, like then I would have nothing. She would have nothing. So it's like, we'd be cooked if, cause like, even if I do plasma, even if I keep doing Twitch, hopefully the YouTube channel is going to get monetized soon. So guys, um, sub to the YouTube. I need more subs on the main channel. Cause that one's probably going to get monetized sooner. Cause that one's getting more watch hours than the clips channel. So sub to the main channel. Because, um, hi Storms, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hello. Kind of a weird topic to come in on. <laughs> but, like, you basically can't earn more than $1,500 a month either. And on the current benefits that I'm on, I can't earn more than 900 So it's like... If I have a really good month, like if I get a million subs, I'm cooked. I lose it all. So it's kind of stupid. Anyway, so like it's in it's in my best interest if I just try and get the bag as much as I can before I turn 30. Because if you don't work for more than for a minimum of 10 years throughout your life, you're ineligible for uh, retirement. Because you need to work an average of 10 years in order to get enough work credits because a work credit is about a quarter of a year so about three months of work you need 10 years worth of credits in order to be eligible for social security yeah your sister ain't getting anything <laughs> that's still crazy hopefully your sister's okay though but you know what all i need is a sugar mama and then i'll be set and you know how that's gonna happen by you guys filling up the quiz because guys um, fill up the quiz. I don't know why. If you fill up the Valentine's Day quiz, all your Valentine's dreams will come true. Hashtag real. Hashtag not clickbait. Okay. I don't know. That's my drama. So TLDR, I called, and they are like, peace in. You can't cancel it over the phone. You gotta mail a paper in. And I was like, bet. So I did that today. So yeah. So hopefully by March, I'll be able to make bank and sell paintings again. I have a good handful of ideas for the art website. I think I will do a stream with like a investors meeting, fake investors meeting. I think that'd be fun where I go over all my plans for the year, kind of like what OTK does, you know, but for peace and art. Because if I'm going to achieve my dream of an art gallery by 50, I need to get hustling now. Live in the dream. Okay, anyway, back to the game. Side tangent over. You guys can dial back in now. Okay. Lee said he'd be here today. Let's go check the station. Finally. I can give him these three-day-old dumplings. Ooh, chicken coop. The chicken coop has been installed next to the toilet. You can now raise chickens. That's what this was. Okay. The best kind of dumplings? Honestly, shrimp shumai is the best shumai.
What's it called? Dim sum. I forgot what dim sum was called. I really want to go to a dim sum place. But, like, the closest one is, like, an hour drive, and it's not worth it. Because there's one in my city, but it's rated, like, the lowest health code there is in the state. <laughs> so it's, like, if you eat here, you're gonna, like, shit your brains out. Like, that type of safety rating. What is nice is that H Mart has a pretty decent frozen selection for dim sum. All you gotta do is get like a cheapy steamer off of Amazon, and then you got dim sum at home. I wanna try Korean barbecue, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. Honey, it's literally so easy. And if you're scared, just go with a friend who's gone before, and then you're solid. You're set. I always go with like one of my friends who's really burly, so whenever I want more servings, I make him order it. But then I eat it all. Because, you know, me, plus size, asking for more food, I get judged. But him, yolk, swole, asking for two more plates of beef, they'll give it to him. No judgment. And then he'll cook it for me, and it's really nice. Hold your horses. A dish like this takes time. Mm-hmm. Sure looks tasty. Take a bite. You'll love it. I can tell just by looking at it. Too bad I gotta eat such a good-looking dish. You sure got an eye for food, Lee. What do you mean? Forget it. I'll give it a bite. So... What do you think? <laughs> How about you two come with me to the city? I can make you two famous. Sorry, but we've spent all our savings on a farm here. Ain't that a drag? Anyways, I'm a man of my word. Get ready. This town's about to be booming. Visitors? Really? As the station master, you have my gratitude. Thank these two, you hear? Not telling the world about these two chefs would be a waste of talent. Well, time for me to get gone. You two are going to be up to your eyeballs and work. That sounds great. I got 54 bucks. I need more money. If this town can become the next New York. I'll do whatever it takes. A restaurant now? A restaurant sim? I think it would be really fun. I personally love the job sim games. But they're really hard on console. I think they're a lot easier with like keyboard and mouse. Also, no narcs. But as you can see, from the planned list of streams, nobody can snitch. I know this is not a sub only, you guys are special. Since you like food, I will be doing a week where I'm doing nine to five Papa's game streams. So like the nine to five work sim, but for a whole week <laughs> doing like Papa's Freezeria from nine to five. And then the next day, doing another Papa's game 9 to 5. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm still deciding what month I want to do that in. I'm thinking one of the summer months. Because then the gimmick can be, oh, it's my summer job. But yeah, that's one of the ideas I have. I think it'll be really funny. $264? Holy shit. How much does honey sell for? 180 Holy moly. Okay, pancakes make... Because the flour is 25 They make $60 profit? Holy shit. Plus $700. Wow.
You can only buy one coop, but you can buy multiple bee houses. Wait, I think I ordered one yesterday, right? I hope that showed up. Imagine it didn't. Ooh, sweet potato. I want that. my tools <laughs> lemon tea a classic pairing whether it be hot or cold to $46. Okay, I've still only got the one bee house. Can I order one? Maybe it takes time to come in the mail. Let's see. Oh, I can mail tea. I still have no clue. Matcha powder? Delicioso. Matcha. When started as a convenient way to store tea, it became a favorite among tea lovers. Any tea lovers in chat? And also any normal lovers? <laughs> My name kind of gives it up. Wait. I always call you Mint. I forget it's Minty. Man, so efficient now. Okay, I want to try and catch this hand. Chicken has joined the farm. Let's freaking go finally. Hello. Oh my god, he loves me. I wonder if I can befriend the pig in the swamp too. I'm cooking now because I want to see if I can make the tea and bring it to the people in the town. Yep, tea leaves. So some recipes will need raw ingredients and then some will need meld ingredients.
Okay, I think I'm ready to go to town. Again. The golden hour time, I think, is the best time in game. I have your tea, sir. Is this for me? It's got a nice color to it. Is it some sort of new motor oil? It's a recipe we got from William. Don't mind if I do. Did that refresh your memory? I remember now. It was you two punks! You oofs put kimchi in my motor oil. Jogging memory, Pops. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, hear us out, Pops. Get the cramp. I'm gonna string you two up by crane and feed you to the octopuses. I mean, octopi. Uh oh, we're toast. He sure sounds angry. Um, think you two can help us out again? We just need you to, uh... Huh. Think we ought to fix up the station. I think we'll get more visitors if we do. Wasn't expecting to see you two. What are you guys still doing here? Need something fixed? We want to fix up the station. Got it. Leave it to us. This time it's on the house. I still owe you for the motor oil. Hey, bozos. Quit slacking off. Get back to work. And one more thing. We'll be staying in town for a while. Just leave a message on the board if you want something built. You'll have to bring us the material, though. Oh, now I gotta actually start grinding. Okay. Quest board. Octopia Station, 20 wood and 10 stone. Easy! Ooh! Oh, I haven't even looked at the map. Okay. Okay. I assume this. Oh. Oh, I gotta put the materials here. Good thing I checked. Building Octopia Station. Surely they'll fix it in a nut, right? You were progressing. Matcha 66? That's a loss in profit, because tea costs $100. Scam. $154? That's pretty damn good. I was gonna upgrade my tools. I need more stone. I upgrade my hope. Hopefully that actually does something. Upgraded. Raise your hoe to charge up and plant seeds in a large area. Ooh! 
A multi-tool, that's kind of cool. I only got, I got 21 bucks. 21? Today's been a good day. Doing pretty damn good. So slow. I see you. Okay, I should chop resources. I don't got a lot of stone. Oh, can I fish here? No. perks to where when I do tasks it'll give me more resources. So I remember at the start I randomly got a lemon and a cocoa when I was chopping trees. I haven't gotten any since. starving John dude we literally just ate we had snails in the forest so picky Okay, sushi didn't sell for that much. I think I'm just gonna make a bunch of steamed fish. And sell them in the morning. I do appreciate how there's a lot of cooking focus in the DLC. Because it wasn't too big a focus in the main game. 
But now this is more fun, like you're actually collecting. Because in the main game, you couldn't really go back and see what resources you had already unlocked. Or like what towns you could get certain vegetables from, but now you can get anything. And it makes sense because you're like on the farm. Sixteen percent of recipes collected. That's pretty good. I think. I don't know. I keep saying that, but as long as I see improvement every day, I'll be happy. <laughs> Yesterday, Monk said he would be finishing up repairs in the station today. Let's go see him. Surely I got my new beehive in the mail. Oh, I did! Beehive has been delivered next to the mill. I guess I just didn't order it the other day? I'm clueless? Oh, there's two now. Yeah, I was just dumb. I just didn't order it three days ago like I thought I did. <laughs> Oopsie. Sherry's cute. Dear Mr. Stupid. <laughs> I almost said stupid. <laughs> Dear Mr. Superstar Chef John, I started working on that ad of yours. I'll show you when I'm done. Ain't gonna take much longer. I sh just sure hope all the visitors aren't gonna disrupt your peace and quiet. Here's a recipe for curry. It's been the talk of the town around here. Your number one fan, Lee. Learn how to cook curry, carrot, potatoes, and chicken. If it's a hit in the city, it's gonna be tasty. Let's make some curry, John. Wait, I don't wanna cook a chicken though. No. Oh, he's hungry. I'm gonna have to kill a chicken. See if we can cook anything. Ooh, a lot. Tomato and eggs. Whether you should fry the eggs or the tomatoes first is a long-standing controversy. Tofu. Eggs cooked to resemble the delicate texture of tofu. Why would you do that, though? Like, tofu is pretty solid on its own. Omelette. Tools have been invented just to make the perfect omelette. Crab cake. Removing the meat from the crab legs will give you a shell of a time. <laughs> Seaweeded egg soup. A soup that tastes of the sea. Miso soup. I like it a lot. Man, so many recipes with eggs. Holy. Fried rice. The key to good fried rice is the temperature of the wok. Controversial. 
I don't like the char taste of fried rice. I think it's like too much. Toast. A perfect companion for any ingredient. Lava bun. A bun filled with golden deliciousness. Steamed eggs. The yellow luster requires practice and skill. Yeah, that was a lot. We're gonna need a lot more eggs. I wonder if I can buy chickens now. We should be able to. I wanna talk to this guy. What's he doing? I never understood why this town is called Octopia. Then I saw the octopus statues in the plaza one day. I know what you're going to ask. How could I miss it? Okay. <laughs> okay, dude, you keep doing your thing. And I won't bother you. So cute! Why is there a fish on the side? Who decided this would look Aesthetically pleasing. And I'm not bluffing. A skilled carpenter such as myself can fetch ten times the rate in the city. No one could afford me. Man, there's an actual door now. Wow, new benches. Trash cans. He painted the walls. And it looks like there's a pool table. <laughs> That's a grand station. They even designed our mascot. No, no, I, I need to gather my spirits. Is it alcohol? You know what else you need to gather? An ad. Because guys... We are four hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad reviewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a sub available. After the ad, we'll keep playing. I'll maybe do one or two more hours in game. If I would have started stream earlier, I would stream six hours. But he said to L my sister. Because I want to try and crank this DLC out by the end of the week. Or in the beginning of February. Because Valentine's Day streams start on Saturday. Let's go in. I'm sure a new station would be a great experience for visitors. That's all, that's all you had to say? Thanks. I took all that time gathering resources and you don't have it said thank you. Ooh. A barn? $800? Shit. Okay. I think I want to upgrade the shop first because he's probably going to be able to sell me more stuff.
I can't order no more bee houses. Beehives. Why do I keep seeing bee houses? <laughs> it's beehives. Okay. Ooh, potatoes. I should sell my shit. Veggie race 187? Damn. $80 for potatoes? I'm so broke. <laughs> well, team. Well, I can't buy anything else. Thank you, sir. I gotta get stone and fish. It's already 2 p.m. I'm not used to military time. I, I never enlisted. It just wasn't for me. My father told me, I either enlist in the army or start a farm. And I have a child now who's not my child and I have a farm. One of them he doesn't approve of, which I think you can obviously tell which. <laughs> he wanted me to enlist in the army, of course. Shit, what the... What the hell? Well, that one was cursed from the start. I'm creeping. Shit. Very nice. I just realized I forgot to buy feed for my chicken. Oopsie. He's gonna die.
Why are there no fish? What in tarnation? In serio. I'm gonna be so mad. I need to talk to the swamp's manager. Sam, you be the Karen. <laughs> Slim pickings today. That just means we get more stone. I bet once I upgrade the general store, that's when I can be able to buy livestock. Looking forward to that. It's getting quite dark, Sam. John, what's for dinner? Snails. You're gonna like it. <laughs> well, I can make the kongi. I finally got another crab. <laughs> I did it again. And I wonder why why my joy cons break. Everything's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I didn't catch anything today. That's so bad. I think rice sold for- no. I'll cook it, just in case. I can't remember if it sold for a lot. I hope it did. You know the drill, Sam. Snails for dinner. Percent of recipes? Damn. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'll play till 14 days in game. That way we get a solid two weeks. That seems like cohesive. So the chicken don't lay eggs when you don't feed it. Save the M's for now. Carrot seed. There was a bird on the bell that time. I don't ring the bell every day. I need to remember to do that. So maybe whenever the bird is on there, there's a secret. Ooh, snow area. I never saw that. And it's been four hours. Um. Uh... Oh, I went the long way. Damn it. Okay, I got 55 stones, so I got enough to, like, buy a new area if I need to. I just need to get that bag. Oh, sorry, I keep on pressing the wrong button. I keep on thinking right trigger is dash, but it's not. It's B. I don't know why I keep on thinking it's trigger. Sells for 181, pretty solid. Rice for 88. That's decent. I'm broke. I have no money. I'm a brokey. Chicken feed is 30. I'll buy one- I'll buy one livestock feed, that way I have it whenever I need it. Oh, I can buy chicken! Ooh! Okay! 120 bucks, though? She. I'm glad that you don't have to kill my chickens! I could remove single items from my card. I'll buy two feed. Okay, that's all I can really buy. so damn expensive. You have $500 and then $800. Okay, can maybe buy the upgrades tomorrow.
have to refill it every day? It's gonna get annoying. Hmm. The activation. You know the drill. Noticing less snails, it's almost like they know I'm going to take them. There's something shiny in the pond. Put something in and take a look. Cargo, put the snails back. Ooh, I got a cocoa seed. A cocoa. Cacao seed. Can I just keep doing that? Put a shrimp in. Metallic ore? <laughs> what? Let's put another shrimp in. Nothing happened. Try something else. Once per unique item, perhaps. A cucumber? Lush. Interesting. The light in the pond has faded. Okay, I should check that every day. That was cool. I just assumed that was gonna be a one-off secret, but I guess not. Let's get out of here. I think I have like a good rhythm now.
Nadie. an apple. You got an apple. Very nice. I don't know why I was flashing purple. You must know that I stream on Twitch. Ain't no way. Thank you for that resub, Rainy. 16 months? Thank you. Did we get some wainies in chat? That should be... No, that's not a new badge yet. But thank you, Rainy. Can we get some wainies? Hello. It seems like you <laughs> you redeem like the 15 month resub message like three times in a row, I think. <laughs> Cause I was looking through the journal. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I think she's hacking. <coughs> yeah, but you, you did say you were having issues with your sub, so. It pops up every time you come to chat. That's so funny. You know what? It's kind of good that alerts are broken. Like, nobody can spam TTS now. Not not saying that you should not subscribe or share bits. It's just the funny voice won't say it. And you know what? To make it up, I will say your TTS messages out loud. Ooh, another item. Lemon! Another lemon? Yo. We cooking. I've just realized Sam is like technically carrying all the resources I gather. She must be so strong. Okay, John is dying. John is no longer dying. It's getting late, John. Let's go home. I think I needed the carrots for the curry shit. I also forgot to check my recipe book. I should have a lot. Ooh, I do. Boiled, ew. Boiled chicken. Looks simple, but the ingredients and preparation are steeped in tradition. Boiled chicken ain't it. I can vouch. Candied apple. Does this still count towards an apple a day? No. Chicken wing. Crispy skin and tender meat makes it hard to resist. Brushed cucumber. Brushing cucumbers is key to absorbing flavor. Fruit pie. 
The filling is up to the chef, leaving a surprise in every bite. Fruit cup. Add chili peppers if you dare. Very nice. Lots of new things. Oh, I need a potato. Those are going to take a few days to cook. Okay, braised bok choy made a lot of money. I need to write down which dishes actually sell for a lot. That way I don't just like randomly make stuff. Keyword should do? I'm not a gamer, so I'm not going to. Oh, I can finally make the candy lotus? That sounds like a drug. Which, I would never do drugs. I think I'm going to try and keep at least two of every crop ingredient. That way if a new recipe comes up, then I can make two of it. Or two different recipes. And then for things that I can catch, like the fish, then I could just make whatever I have. I have a lot of flour though. The strat is probably just by a bunch of wheat seeds. You know what else is a strat? Following the channel, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click follow. You get cooling boats. Sorry, the music got loud. And you get to type in chat. It's honestly the best strat you can do. And if you're already following, turn notifications on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Smile. Oh, the reason why oatmeal probably doesn't sell for much because it's just pure wheat grain. It's not the milled flour. That's probably why it's so shit. Willing can probably like open a convenience store without the food that I make him every night. A little convenient. Dude, I wish our 7-Elevens were as good as Japan's. All their convenience store food, no matter like how rinky-dink it looks, is so good. I think it's time for dinner now, Sam. I've done my cooking. As always, snails. <laughs> Imagine living on a farm where you have access to all these resources and I just make you eat snails every day. <laughs> the final day, day 14. Or for today's stream at least. This is new. Snow White beaches, bountiful farms, mysterious ruins, exquisite delicacies. Far from the bustling metropolis, this is Octopia. Did she say Octopia? Isn't that our farm? 
Explore the scenic beauty of Octopia. What are you waiting for? It's Lee's advertisement. Uh-oh. We're gonna have our hands full. Or, I mean... Yay! We're gonna have our hands full. Looks like that guy Lee kept his promise after all. Lee's advertising Octopia in the city. Oh, well, we... Everyone's gonna know about Octopia. We're gonna have visitors in no time. I'll run back to the station now. Don't want to disappoint our visitors. The tourism industry is gonna kill this town. Just like it is every town. Octopia is starting to get its tentacles off the ground, John. Okay, so every day that you feed the chicken, you get an egg. So that means an egg costs $30. Oh, hello, sir. What are you doing here? This is my farm. I think I'm gonna die of boredom. Hey, John. Ever get bored working out in the field? No, sir. There's actually a lot of work to do on the farm. It's kind of overwhelming. But you know what? I love it. Bees are always busy buzzing. They sure have it rough. Okay, shut up. You're so stupid. Kids are so dumb. <laughs> They're like funny for an hour. If you have to babysit a kid longer than that, game over. I would just Minecraft myself. But the one girl I did babysit was really sweet, and she was cool. She liked to draw. Oh, everybody other- everybody else's kids? The worst. One sixty-five? Holy. Two thirty-one? Man, I think this is the biggest haul that we've had. $1,500? Sheesh! I'm rich. I'm rich. Before I buy anything, I'm gonna see if I can upgrade part of the town. upgrade the store first because then I'll probably have access to more resources to where I can afford a barn easier. Cute. Minus 500. Wait, I can maybe afford the other one. The company is undergoing construction, cannot start a new project. Okay, that makes sense. You can't take too many commissions at once. Valid. I assume we'll have visitors tomorrow in game. I don't think people hear a radio ad and then drop what they're doing and listen to the man on the t radio. Ooh, secret? $110, yo! Let's get to shopping.
Since I have $1,100, I'll upgrade my X. X upgraded. That's it? It's just gonna be the same? Cool, I guess. I'm gonna buy the bobber. If I can make fishing easier, then I can catch more fish, more money, more seeds, more money. Again, more animals, more money! I become a millionaire. It is quite sad, like, having to spend all my money every single day. It's like the normal American. Living paycheck to paycheck. Man, to think I started this day with $1,500 and now a measly $13? Really out here scamming, charging charging a hundred dollars for seeds. Wait, it's fine, it's fine. No. I keep missing. Okay, the further the fish gets away, the line turns red. No way! Thank goodness. That's 200 bucks right there. Oh yeah, I got the upgraded bobber too, so I think a fish should only take two hits now. One. Two. Wait, that's actually really good. Two hits? Perfect choice by me. Because I don't necessarily need a faster bobber, because the faster bobbers aren't too helpful with a special fish, like the puffer fish. There's something shiny in the pond. Put something in and take a look. Oh. Oh, soybeans! Cool. Tomate. An onion!
more cucumbers. The light in the pond has faded. So I can do three items a day and get random shit. It's better than tossing coins in the pond. Conclusion, only you can only fish once in the swamp section. I think there was one day where there was like two sectors where I could fish, but as of recent, it's only been one. It would be more of an issue if I had less time, but now that I have the bobber that allows me to hit the fish once and it's dead. It doesn't really matter if I waste a bit more time. There's also been less nails spawning. Which I bet Sam loves. But I hate. Because I love a cheap mail. Really no fish? Uh oh. Uh oh. What's it called when you fish too much? Irrigation? No. Irrigation is water. Guys, I went to art school, not a real college. Wait, that one took three hits. Scam. Only I'm allowed to scam here. parts of the map open up. There's probably so many different areas. Like, it looks like there's a beach section here. There's an ice section to the left, an underground tunnel by the swamps. So much different food I can make. John's getting tired. The axe is working a bit faster. Used to take him 10 seconds to drop a tree, but now it's taking like 7. I'm starving, John! I should have some new recipes because I got onions and then soybeans. Spaghetti! Popular throughout the ages with countless iterations. I'll say it's spaghetti's mid. It's too acidic. Baked beans! 
Beans rich in flavor that melt in your mouth. Soy milk, a delicious alternative for the lactose intolerant. So many good things. Ooh, he leveled up. Very nice. Whole oh, bunch of new stuff. Matcha dumpling. A delicious rice dumpling stuffed with matcha paste. Sounds so good. Everything sounds good. I'm hungry. Okono... <laughs> Okonomoyaki... Wait, I can do this. I'm Japanese. Okonomoyaki. Okonomoyaki. A savory pancake ch common in Japan. I really want to try this. I've seen videos of people trying this. This looks really good. Okono... Okonomoyaki. Level three. I got two chickens. I would never voluntarily make boiled chicken. I'm only making this to get the achievement. It really should let you cook multiple things at once. Like, if I want to make five baguettes, let me make five baguettes. Ooh, soybean is a vegetable. Interesting. I just realized Sam is like waiting to eat. He was like begging us to come eat dinner. And we're like, no. Let me cook for three more hours. We need to sell this at the market tomorrow, Sam. And she's like, please, let me have some of the fish. And John is like, no. Escargo as usual.
You better start complaining. This is better than the raccoons we used to eat. And she's like, yes, John. He's slurping up the snails. <laughs> Okay, I think we're done cooking. Sam, we can eat. That's a pretty good haul. Oh, okay. So, top left. There's different multipliers for whatever food you eat. So, I assume the higher you level up John with his cooking, the greater multiplier you get. So, escargot is technically worth 45. That's why I think it's, like, one of the best. Like, snails don't cost nothing. And they don't sell for much. So, keep eating your snails. No complaining. Five days until William's Trading Company is complete? 20% recipes? Damn, that's pretty good for two weeks in game after about five hours. Not too bad. The game is saved. And there we go. So that was the first two weeks in the Easter DLC. The DLC is only $5.99, I think, right now in the Switch store. It's probably going to be cheaper on Steam. But for 15 to 20 hours worth of content, yes, it's a farming sim. But it's pretty good. I really like the cooking mechanic. It still has a lot of charm with all the different characters. And it's really cute to see... The light hardness approach with the DLC. I definitely think the angle of using like an alternate universe makes sense. I'll admit it. Kind of a cop out, but it makes sense. Yeah. We're gonna finish this on stream. I think whenever I play this next, I'll do like longer streams, like six to seven hours. Just so we can get through it. My goal is to hundred percent and get all the recipes. I think that's totally doable. After I saw the introduction of the metal ore, there's probably gonna be more crafting. My assumption is that there's like four to five different subsections that you have to unlock whenever you upgrade with the construction men. So it seems like there's a lot of substance in the DLC. If you haven't played the first game, make sure you do it. It's pretty good. More story driven, more combat based. And if you've already played the main game, play the DLC. It's pretty solid. It's nice to like veg out and play, but it's still got a little bit of that eastward charm to it. Also, the fishing mechanic is very hard to learn. It's probably kind of hard to understand watching, but it's very difficult. Genuinely. Okay, so that was my first look of Eastward DLC. I'm going to beat it this week. Surely. Okay, I'm hungry. It's almost 6 p.m., so it's almost past my fasting time. So I got to hurry up. So, if you subscribed or if you use your channel points i will write your name we're gonna do calligraphy you know the drill calligraphy time smile and while i'm getting the second camera set up if you could politely fill out the valentine's day quiz your answers will be used on a stream next week for valentine's day so click the link bod watchers fill it out as well Let's do Gone Fishing Nintendo music. Because we were fishing all day.
the camera works. Imagine. I'm gonna grab a different pen. I wanted a lighter orange. All my other oranges are a bit too dark. This pen is a bit yellow. Oopsie. Next to the other pens, it looked orange, but like against this coral, it's yellow. You know what? That's color theory. I went to art school, I should know. The big reason why for my painting for my paintings back here. I use interior house paint is because color mixing is literal hell. Like if you're an established artist, you hire a team just to color mix for you. Color mixing ain't it. Like you put one extra half a drop of blue and it's the wrong shade. But once again, thank you Mint for the 11 month resub. I appreciate you. Thank you. So close to the one year. You're this close. Can you do it? Like, even if it'll take three weeks for them to process it, as long as it's time-stamped that re they received it, let's say, on Friday, then I can start making money starting Friday. It's just whenever they receive it. And then I get formally... Like, stop being monitored, income-wise, whenever it's processed. Because, they kind of... I was talking to my friend about it, and they were like, can't you just, like, make cash on the side and, like, just not tell them? I'm like, no! 
they do audits. Like, even if you post on social media saying, I got this new camera, they, they can be like, hey, what is that? Or another reason why I haven't been able to go on trips with my sister is because they could have questioned that as well. Because you have to report whenever somebody gives you money. So if my sister would have given me $200 for a trip, to spend on a trip, that would have been bad. Can't do that. So it's like... That's why, like, you can't do shit under the table. You don't want to be good in trouble. Like, that's what... You guys want to hear something bad? When I was talking to the guy who hasn't emailed me back about the contract gig for graphic design, I was telling him a little bit about my situation. This was before he offered me a job, okay? So, like, he knew a little bit about my situation before he reached out to me. I was like, yeah, I want to work on my website more, but I can't because I'm on disability. He's like, why not? I'm like, well, they, you know, they can, like, see what I do. And he's like, it don't matter. Just, like, don't say nothing. I'm like, no, I can't. <laughs> like, any income has to be reported. Which makes sense. Like, you don't want people using benefits if they income-wise don't need it. But it still is, like, scary. What is good, though, is that since I made less money on Twitch last year, in 2023, than 2022, it was fine. It didn't affect me. I don't know, there's a lot of new ones. Guys, just pray to God. <laughs> oh, wait. Just cross your fingers you don't ever experience an event that disables you, because, like, if you're healthy, enjoy it, man. Enjoy it. That's why, like, it's important. Oh, once again, thank you, Rainy, for the 16 month smile. We have one channel point redemption. So if you guys want to stall, use your channel points. What was I saying? That's why it's important to advocate for everyone. Okay. For everybody, you should try and advocate for them. But especially for disabled people, they are less likely to go protest because of like physical limitations or like they just can't be in contact with people because they can't get sick. Um, they're less likely to vote because in some states you physically have to go in person to vote. There aren't a lot of accommodations. Um, what else? And I can understand not wanting to push for issues concerning identity or race because I know there's a lot of nuance to that as well. But with disabled people, like, there's obviously some conditions from birth, some that you develop as you age, and then also, like, just bad circumstance. Like, if you get into an accident, GG's! You're disabled now, so it's like, if, if you can advocate for anything, I think it's very easy to advocate for the disabled easy in the sense of like minimal potential hate or backlash you could receive because you know how like the media covered BLM which is very unfortunate that that was the direction they took right but just as a societal thing I don't want to like say what I'm thinking because like out of context it sounds really bad Like, there's a lot of racist people in the States, as with anywhere. But, like, you're you're less likely to get shit if you advocate for somebody who needs a walking aid versus somebody who is advocating for racial equality. Which is, like, really fucked up. But it's because a lot of politics is optics. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Mac, for redeeming. Anybody else? This is why I can't be a political streamer. I would... I would say dumb shit. And then people would be like, Clippers! And then get me. Oh, I think the last thing. Thank you for redeeming, Kobobo. Because a lot of politics comes down to empathy. Right? So I can understand why some people didn't resonate with, like, BLM 
or stop Asian hate because if you aren't necessarily in those marginalized groups, it's a bit harder to empathize, right? Which makes sense. Not saying that you should not advocate, it's just I understand why a lot of people didn't feel comfortable advocating for those things. Still shitty, but I feel like most any person should be able to empathize with someone who is disabled. Like, most people know somebody who's had cancer. Most people know their grandparents who are old and decrepit. <laughs> so, I think it's a lot easier for people to empathize with those scenarios because it's one, either they see somebody, they know somebody, or you yourself will live that experience at one point in your life. Versus, you probably will not be able to change your race? Question mark? So it's a lot harder for people to empathize. There is legislation that's been pushed for for years in Washington State to where, because right now the program I'm on, the ABD, if you get approved for SSI, which is regular social security, you have to pay back whatever ABD you received. So if you are on ABD and you received like $3,000, it would be more than 3K. Because I received about 1200 in a year. And sometimes people are on that program for like years because it takes years for your disability application to be reviewed now. Because there's so much. But um, they're pushing for legislation to where if you are on ABD or some type of transitional benefit program until you get on full disability, to where you don't have to pay it back. Because right now you have to pay it back. And by paying back, they mean like just taking out of your potential benefits you get approved for. Which is like, whatever, but it's like, why are you making the people who you aren't allowing to work, or you are allowing them to work, but are like also not allowing them to work more than part time, it's like, why are you making them pay back when, like, you're telling them that they're not legally able to work? Like, that's so dumb. The, the movement was more strong pre-pandemic, but now it's kind of, like, slowed down. Because less people are able to, like, advocate in person or go to, like, city hall meetings. So it's kind of like... I don't know. It's dumb. I would go to, like, my local city hall meetings, but I'm too scared. <laughs> Because, you know the people who go to city hall meetings? It's either, like, people who want to, like, gentrify their neighborhoods, or the psychos who want to ban, like, gay books from school. It's one of those two. I'm scared. They're gonna see me with my little gay jacket and be like, That one! Though, <laughs> no, Washington is a very lived up state, though. The only scary parts is like Eastern Washington, but even then, they're a bunch of liberals. Okay, anyway, I'm I'm done yapping, guys. Thank you for watching, any chatter slickers. Thank you for hanging out during this exclusive first look at the Eastward DLC. I'm gonna try and beat the whole thing on stream. I might. I I think I don't know. I'm thinking. I might do it for like regular streams. I might do sub only. I don't know. It's probably taking me a while to beat it. We did five hours today. If there's a hundred hours in or a hundred days in game, and I did fourteen, ooh, that's gonna be like nine streams. That's so much. I gotta start speedrunning. Anyway, thank you all for hanging out. I will see you probably tomorrow. Yeah, everything should be fine tomorrow. <laughs> Surely. Okay, as always. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash at peace and 17 for weekly stream highlights, and then at the clip at peace and 70 clips for daily stream clips. Thank you for watching. I had a good time. I'm really excited about the DLC. I'm really happy it came out. I'm happy. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Also, what's also pock, I'm taking my jacket off, it's too hot. What's also really sick is that now. That I'm like canceling my benefits. I can work quote unquote as much as I want. 
Because before, I had to report how many hours I streamed a month. So there was... Because you can't earn more than 1500 or work more than 40 hours a month. So there were a few months where I worked... Streamed more than 40 hours, which was a big L. But now... Now, I can stream as much as I want, I can edit as much as I want, and I can make bank, and moonlight, hopefully, smile. And if not, I'll just donate all my blood and plasma. No, but seriously, if you are able to, try to donate blood, I think you could donate blood once every two or three months, and I think you can donate plasma twice a week, but the only concern with plasma is that there's not a lot of clinics, so you just have to find whatever is closest to you locally. Um, because just in general, there is shortages with, um, blood. <laughs> I don't, wait, I don't know if this is true or not, but allegedly, I read somewhere that it takes, like, months and months for them to, like, process the blood that people donate. Let's see. How long to process donated blood? Oh. <laughs> Wait, I think I read something else then. All blood donations are processed and available for use between 24 to 48 hours after collection. Oh. Where did I... Where... Okay, I read somewhere that it takes like... Like months. Maybe for certain medicines. Anyway. Donate blood if you can. There's shortages. Donate blood so you can save somebody who needs it. And donate plasma... Because we are lucky in the states to where... Okay, also kind of not lucky. But like, there's different legislation in different countries. So some countries ban, like, the concept of paying out for donations. That's why there's some countries that are seeing shortages in blood and plasma. But in the states, I don't think you get compensated for blood, but I think you get compensated for plasma. Uh, someone who, like, really encouraged me was watching, like, Iron Mouse and talking about her condition and her, like, journey and shit. And it's really sad. I mean, she talks about it not often. Like, I've only seen clips. I haven't seen her talk about it, like, during a stream, like, live. But she's been saying that, like, for her specific medication, it relies on plasma donations. And where she lives, there's, like, shortages. So there's, like, minimal amount of medication that can be, like, distributed. Which sucks, and like nobody should ever have that reality. So, I understand that if you live in the States, there are things that there are levels of privilege and then levels of not. But if you are able to help, whether that be like volunteering in your local community, donating blood, donating plasma, like do what you can. Even if it's a slight inconvenience, you could be helping somebody. If, even if you never meet them. For some, it could be life or death. So donate if you can. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> donate if you can. I know needles are scary! And you'll get a little scar prick on your elbow. In inner elbow? What's that called? Your neat elbow pit? <laughs> but if you're gonna be helping people and yes I know that plasma is sometimes used for the adrenochrome that gets injected into the rich and wealthy but still some of it gets made into medicine and medicine is cool and pop okay enough yapping I will see you guys when I see you probably tomorrow make sure you fill out the balance eight that Maybe I need some medicine for my fucking stutter. Anyway. Fill out the Valentine's Day quiz. If you fill it out, all your dreams will come true. Hashtag real. Hashtag not clickbait. It will be used for streams next week. Because Valentine's is coming up. You guys got exactly a week to find a date. And if you don't find a date, don't worry. I'm going to be doing a date with Chad. Third year in a row, baby. I actually got some stuff in the mail. For that stream today and <laughs> the bait is gonna be so good no narcs it starts with a b goodbye